Hello, and welcome back to Danganronpa Up Another 2. We are finally back after that little detour. I'm curious to see how that is going to connect to this in the whole grand scheme of things. I'm so glad to be back to this. Uh, that series was a series. It was three little, you know, reactions. Um, It was a little rough. I'm going to be honest. I didn't love it. I mean, I was interested in, like, who put them there, and then <laughs> they didn't even show it, and then I was dumb, and I read the comments, and it said who it was, so, <laughs> I, okay, I don't want to say anything else, so people are blindly reacting, but I don't know why that's who it was, hello, um, <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> here back, and we are starting the final chapter, which I've been saying this in all my outros, but again, leave your suggestions, please. I hope to do another LP after this one. It's going to be something totally different, I imagine, but I, I would like to do something else. I don't want this to be the end of my channel, so, you know, keep leaving them. Anyways, let's dive right in. Mrs. Kurokawa. Mrs. Kurokawa. Huh? Okay, that's... Is that, um... Kokoro? She has the same hair. Or is it like... Is it her because they're all older? I solved it. I finally solved it. That bug I was talking about. And here it is. The seventh method is returning the value void. Huh? What's wrong, Mrs. Kurokawa? Oh, I told you not to refer to me by that name, Mikado Sanoji. Is this is 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 Kokoro? Kurokawa's mother? Oh, you certainly did. I'm sorry. Uh, that's Mikado. That's real Mikado before the simulation. He dyed his hair blonde. Have you forgotten? My last name is Mitsume. If it's that confusing, just call me by my first name. But isn't Kurokawa still right, officially? You said before that your husband and daughter were missing- Oh my god! She's Kurokawa's mother?! What the fuck?! I'm sorry. Dude, what?! Ugh. Oh, and I'm trying to be quiet too, because I'm recording this at 1am. Um... And I don't want to wake people up. Huh? Huh? Dude. Sorry. That, that is the biggest plot twist this series has ever done. Holy crap. So, technically you haven't got divorced yet. Have you come here to talk about such trivial things? No, 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 I never, I just. So he worked with her? She's part of it? She's part of Void? Oh my God, her, her, her self in the program is so young. If she's Kurokawa's mother, what the frick? Whoa. Oh, right. The bug. I fixed it. You were right. And the code. It's in the USB. Do you want to test it right now? Hmm. Give it a test. It's not bad, expectedly. I know, right? Now we're finally at the starting line. Ah, oh, Kokoro. I brought this month's pay in, in this bag right here. I'm sorry that I always have to pay in cash every time. Huh? What's wrong? Is there something troubling you? No, but this, as always, isn't clean money. I know the security has been the worst ever since the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, but aren't you doing this too often? You know, hacking? If you're concerned about money laundering, I've done it quite thoroughly every time. Ah, I'm not berating you. Sorry if you got offended. Crime is everywhere these days, and I'm actually quite used to it anyways. It's just that you might get caught if you do if you go too far. Just be on the lookout. You're one of my most important sources of research money. There aren't many people out there who are going to invest in people like me. I'm afraid I can't, Kokoro. Uh, I haven't got much time left. Do you mean, are you afraid of that person you talked about last time? Master Itsuro. I need to meet him as soon as possible, for my sake. 
Even if it's just an alter ego created inside a programmed world. I gotta smudge the emotion you're feeling right now. Is it aspiration? Respect? No. It's awe. To be honest, I don't give a damn about the ultimate luck or anything. If I could meet him just for a moment, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Amazing. It's a strong emotion without any doubts. Can I record your data for a sec? Uh, later, please. It's a bit disturbing, to be honest. Alright. The reason why you're creating that alter ego, your relationship with that person, that has no relevance with me. To digitalize emotion and analyze it, to digitally create human emotion itself, that objective of mine was finally made true by your request. And our objectives merely happened to overlap. That's all. I can't get used to him wearing glasses and having dark hair. This is, and he's like expressive. Like his mask has been expressive, but he's never made any face. This is like, that's why I couldn't, I didn't realize it was him at first, even though they have the same hairstyle because he's showing emotion. That's expected of Mrs. Kokoro. They make things so much easier. That's why I'm requesting specifically you. Then the framework has been completed and we should start a deep learning process with our sample data. Uh, I'll take it from here since I created the base algorithm. So he's a hacker. That's kind of cool. He's like, you know what is cooler than hacking? Being a wizard. And that's why he decided to make his AI a wizard, I guess. And that, maybe that's like why he like teleports and stuff. It's like glitches and stuff because he's a hacker. Are you sure? You don't even requested it and I'm getting, I'm the one getting paid for it. Lending the equipment necessary is a reason enough to pay the money anyways. If that's what you want, then all right. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, then please make it black. The sample data is on the desktop, so go ahead and input it. I'll be right back. How did she end up as a student in that? Then and this marks another step forward. Maybe she was the ultimate psychologist in her day in like <laughs> the 70s, 80s. Master, it's zero. Please wait for me. I will resurrect you, I promise. Let's see, gosh, Kokoro, I wish you'd keep things more arranged. Let's see, it's it, this folder. What? What's it, this folder? It's not any programming code. Is it a different type of data? Ah, I haven't deleted this photo folder yet. Ah, whoa. Why are you so surprised? It's not like you've seen something you weren't supposed to. K Kokoro. Hmm. This isn't something worth talking about, but it isn't anything worth hiding for either. It's all in the past anyways. I'm always thankful for your support, so I guess I can tell you this much. What are these data files? Haven't you always wondered about my family? Ah, about those who were my family? Huh. No, well, of course not. You're lying, I assure you. I know more about the emotion curiosity than anyone else in the world. You and your mind reading again. This is, well, a file containing my daughter's brain map and digitalized electric signals from each response she gets. I'm sorry. It was my lifelong dream to study primitive emotions. Primitive emotions. My god, it's Noji. What do you think is the most primitive emotion is? The base emotion of all emotions that us humans feel. Yeah, the very first emotion that us humans feel as a living creature when we first become a living creature. The very essence of emotion. Emotion is an unknown field. No one could ever logically explain what emotion is. But what if we could digitalize the most primitive emotion? Maybe we could further inspect about the very identity of us humans. Isn't it fascinating? Is that so? I'm not sure. And what does that have to do with your daughter? Our emotions get largely affected by our surroundings as we grow up. As such, to research about the most primitive emotion in its purest form, I must conduct the experiment from the very moment a human being is born. Oh, was, was she experimenting on her kid? Okay, girl, you didn't. Yes, I for specifically for that project. <gasps> oh, she's a horrible person. What is wrong with you? Kurokawa is her own lovely human being how how oh i'm disgusted that's 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 horrible that's horrible it was much more convenient than getting another person's child much higher security as well i had her born in the lab and started my experiment right away oh my god you're horrible 
These files are all from back then. Did, did your husband agree to this? He did it for the record. I didn't think that the genes would have that much of an effect and that we searched for a sperm donor. But one of the researchers I knew had a crush on me for the longest times. It made things a lot easier. Well, this is the boring part, so let's skip this. So wait, 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 is Kurokawa's dad not her biological father then? It's this guy, I think is what they're implying. So that means her husband and daughter, he went missing. Well, my husband couldn't stand it in the end, so he took off with my daughter. Understandable, you're crazy. I lost contact, so I don't know what happened afterwards. Weird, he definitely agreed to the experiment, you know. It was at that point that I realized that motherhood no, fatherhood is a much stronger emotion than I thought. Wait for these files. They've been regularly updated until a few years ago. That's because she ran away with the scanning chip still in her brain. The chip is run by a semi-eternal battery, so as long as she was alive, the date would should have been sent to this PC. And she's dead. She exploded. Then why did you keep these? The file size was enormous. Ah, oh, were you planning to use these for research? No, that's not it. I just forgot. There's a lot of data to handle. As soon as she made contact with the outer world, that primitive emotion must have disappeared. So, this is all worthless data. To be honest, I didn't know they even existed before you opened them. Could you please delete them? Alright. Why are you concerned about something? No, I have no right to complain about ethics when my hands are this dirty from all the crimes that I've done. But, still, she's your family. You told me that you were an orphan, right? Oh, poor Mikado. Hmm. I guess the story sounded a bit irresponsible for someone like you. Sorry. I was being careless. No, not at all. It's not something you should apologize for. I'm fine. I feel like this voice is not suiting him at all anymore. He seems much more, like, flustered and not scary. <laughs> Interesting. What is it? I checked some of the data just in case, but my daughter lived quite a life, didn't she? She seems to have gotten into Hope Speak Academy. Come again? And there is a name I recognize reoccurring many times throughout my daughter's memories. It's Zero. Is that the person you were looking for? <laughs> Did he faint? What's the matter all of a sudden? You surprised me. Ugh, I'm sorry. Kakura, you're not joking about this, right? It was only a personal act of trying to meet with him that I contacted you, and yet, your daughter ran away and luckily got into Hope's Peak to somehow meet with him. Well, I haven't seen a single sign of him. Can, can this be fate? Fate to luck. I don't believe in unscientific things. But this is new information to me as well. No, no. If you think about it, it's quite simple. This is the power of divine luck. Yes, it's his power. He's calling me. Him and I are pulled together once again. That could be the only explanation. Master Itsuro. <laughs> Master Itsuro. Kagero. The event that I met with you, that was also Master Itsuro's will. I want this data to be scanned. All of it. This could prove to be even more important than the AI we're creating. To be honest, I'm a bit tired. What? If it's money, then I'll give you much more. Uh, please. Huh. I am disgusted by Kokoro. Holy crap. Give me a few more as a tip. I guess I'm skipping sleep tonight. Well, I don't like her anymore. I was like, oh, she's fine. That's horrible. Was that chapter zero? So she, well, was she part of this then? Like, how did she get involved? Also, um, never mind. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, I, this is the equivalent of the, the, the boat scene with the Junko hand. Would, the, would you like to save? I would. Now we're actually starting chapter six. Yeah, Void Theater. Who's going to be there? The world is falling apart. Huh, <sighs> what's that? Play Nudge, though? No, I mean literally. Don't we all know? Everything's over now. If this is happening, the killing school field trip must have come to an end. Though there's no way for us to find out how it all ended. I think it's 
unusual even for Mikata to put a sudden end to everything. Did something go wrong with the plan? Susan Bright, rotten hell, Mikado Snowji. It's just my speculation. Yeah, what we know for sure is whether Mikado's plan succeeded or not, our time here is up. Bye, guys. If, if Mr. Tsuya really came back to life, if we can get our fortune back and even the smallest chance of us coming back to life opens up. No, there's no such chance. Fortune is just that, mere luck. It's impossible to bring people back from the dead. And even if it were possible, Mikado Sanoji would have never let it happen. No, I don't want to die. I want to live some more. I want to stay here with you guys. Emma, step out of it. We're already dead. Us talking to her like this is only a fantasy. I know, I know that. I'm prepared to face the end. It would be childish to deny that. But... I just couldn't help it. Our lives throughout the past years have been a living hell. And when we finally escape those gutters and live a normal life, we're dragged right back down and have to accept this is the end? No, I hate it. Like me. Why do we have to go through all this suffering? Stop it. Crying like that won't change what's already done. Besides, we all did something terrible. Hey, Nikkei, is there anything you want to say? It might be your last chance. Or are you keeping quiet because you don't have a mouth? Fuck it. I'm just waiting for all this to be over. I'm glad that this hell of a life is ending. There's no point in living life without power. Yeah, just let me return to dust. Okay, Edgelord. Are you sure about that? You... Well... What about you, then? Your health? You wanted to regain your health. You came just as far for that one goal? Why are you so concerned about other people? You must be the most desperate of us. That might be true, but still, there's something that came to mind, my mind, when I realized this would be the end. This is what I was fated to be. What? We were all granted power fortune by Mr. Utsuro, and with that power altered each of our faiths. We weren't dragged down to hell. We were there from the very beginning. Fortune might have allowed us a temporary escape, but this is the place we were all supposed to be. You! That's how we can't change faith. I don't know. There might have been some way if Mr. Utsuru were still alive, but would it be better to think that we came back where we belonged than we lost everything? At least in your last moments. Get it, you're lame. I'd rather not spend my last moment dealing with the likes of you. I'm gonna lay down here and silently fall into sleep. Ha, huh, if that's what you want. I'm sorry. Emma. Hmm? Tell me one final joke. Anything's fine. Oh, but I thought you hated them. Just pick one already. It's almost time. Haha, <laughs> alright. What do you call a deer with extremely good eyesight? And they're gone. Whoa. Master Utsuro. I was happy to meet you, but at the same time, I was unhappy. That's the reason I resent our meeting. So thank you. I don't know who that was. I assumed it was Akane because it's in red text, but who knows? Because you were... Okay, it is her. Okay. What should I say? First, Empty. If I were to explain the Empty who is monologuing right now, my name is Empty, though I doubt anyone really cared. Empty. As you can see, I'm not Empty or have an Empty as well as Empty. I'm just one empty of the ordinary empty stewed empty that empty empty at any morning. Empty, 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 empty. Only emptiness. Empty, 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 blah, 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 blah. Empty. Remember this? She did this at the beginning. Ra. Aura. Sora, get up. Who are you? Sora, are you okay? Huh? Sora, it's me. Are you okay? Do you know where we are? Oh, eh? Is that, it's, it's me? This place? Who? Whoa, it's all glitchy. I think it's, 
Is that Yoriko? Her sprite, her face looks the same. I think it's, I think it's supposed to be Yoriko, the crying sprite. That's the same face. It's just everything else is different. Oh my gosh, she's old now. Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay, Sora. When I found you on the floor, I thought you were dead. I thought I was dead. Huh? Who are you? Excuse me. This is the first time we've met, right? Wait, is it? Something about you is familiar. Sora, it's me, Yoriko Kabia. Okay, yeah, it is her. Imagine if it was Aroha instead. I would be so embarrassed right now. The face is the same. Look at her glasses. She's old now. Yoriko, is that really you? Yes, of course it is. You look like a completely different person. I don't understand either. I looked like I did when I was back in high school. In high school? Yoriko, I can't remember. Huh, my theory was correct. I don't know why my memory and my appearance is back, but this is how I look now. Oh, what, you still don't believe me? My memories might be back, but I still rem remember everything that happened. I believe you, I was just a little surprised. Ooh, you look very mature though. Well, that's because I'm an adult. I don't know how old you are, but I'm older, probably. So should I call you Miss Kabia? Or are you already married? Oh, what, I should shut up, I'm not that old. Miss Kabia. Oh, I love these two together. I, it's so cute. I ship them. I I'm just asking you to treat me how you usually do. He <laughs> it's just a joke, Yorko. They're girlfriends. By the way, do you know what happened? I want to know our situation. No, we obviously didn't know what to do until our minds went blank. Oh, this was so cool. This was so cool. I love that execution. What? Well, we're alive. I think so. What happened to the execution? Why are we on this beach and where are the others? Yuriko, I have a question. We're, we're still in the virtual world, right? Yeah, look at all these numbers floating. Of course we are. But well, I don't think those zeros and ones are normally flying around in the, real, in the real world. I just said that. And the sky's purple, if you've noticed. Did you say that your memories are back? Yeah, I don't know why. So how did you get kidnapped and forced into the killing game? I'll tell you, just wait a second. My mind is still a little fuzzy. I'm sure I was working as usual in someone. So sorry, I don't remember the details, but I know for sure I was surprise attacked. If you don't want to remember, you don't have to. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. In any case, we know what's going on now, so I think we need to check. Huh. The student handbook is completely broken. There's some weird static in the rules section. Sora, look at this. Oh, it's the reset code activation. This is... The reset code is unlocked. Did this bring my memories back? So is that why Shobai was like... Bye. And like disappeared. <laughs> Let me check mine. Hers are back too. Oh, mine's like that too. Really? So have you remembered anything? They... they should come back. My real memories. You remember before, right? Oh, yeah. Akane Tyra, was it? Ugh. The name leaves a disgusting taste in my mouth. Have you got any other memories apart from hers? I should have, but I don't feel any different from how I did in the last trial. Well, the change of my appearance must have something to do with the reset code. But you haven't changed at all, so maybe it didn't work for you. I don't know. The reset code is not absolute. The reset code just initializes the tampered state of data. Tampered state? What's that? Wait, what? Hello, Monocro. Monocro. Uh, pleasure to see you all again. You, what do you want this time? Mm -hmm. No, wait a second. I am no longer your enemy. Uh, wait, what bullshit are you trying to pull? You work for Mikado. Yuriko, wait a moment. Monocro, I wanted to talk to you. Sora. The day I arrived on the fifth island. When that happened, you tried to tell us something, right? Yes. Why didn't you say anything? And what did you do after that? Then your condition was weird. And there's gotta be a reason that you're here, right? Still as seasoned as ever, Miss Sora. I'll admit, you are half right. Half right? Once my data was initialized, it doesn't make sense for me to be here anymore. So in theory, my personality should be dead, but I have somehow come back to life. Now that I have a few moments of freedom, I came here to you. What are you talking about? Hmm. Don't you understand? I'm here to help you guys. What? T to help us. 
It seems both of your Risa accounts have been activated, right? Seeing how Yorko's avatar has been released. But nonetheless, you lack information. To be that monster Mikado, you need information. Why is he suddenly on our side? Am I wrong? Well, wait a minute, you're acting weird. You've been on Mikado's side all this time, so why are you helping us now? Well, I'm not sure either. I think the default value of my algorithm is to help humans. Algorithm. All programs act using algorithms, and the principle of those are determined by a default value. Well, I've not exactly been trustworthy so far, so you have to make a choice if it's if to trust me or not. Well, it could be because Mikado's a hacker. He hacked his program. I won't force you. As Yoroku said, I have been working for Mikado, so why would you trust me? However, I am no longer under the jurisdiction of Mikado, so my action is to help you. I hope you believe that much. What should we do, Sora? Monica, what do you know about Mikado's plan? Where are the others and what's going on? Well, not all of them are here, but I could show you where they are. Yoriko, let's take his help. Are you serious? It's hard to understand the situation with just us two alone. Besides, we don't know where the others are. And we could always use some eyes in the sky. We have the perfect bird for that job. She is quick to forgive and forget. Please don't address me as just a bird. Right, I'm suspicious of Monaco, but he has been acting weird for the past few days. However, if you betray us, you will die. Do not worry, my algorithm isn't programmed to lie. So it's safe to assume you have decided there's nothing else on this beach. We should move. Move to where? To the singularity. Please talk to me when you're ready. I want to start right away. What a sudden reunion. Monaco is certainly back to his usual self. I'm still not sure if he's our ally or our enemy. Uh, but I'm sure Monaco is something that can be useful to us. What happened to us? Who knows what that future may hold? It's time to uncover the truth. Chapter 6, The Moon of Hope and Sun of Despair. I'm getting like emotional. I can't believe this is the last chapter. <laughs> Investigation to start. I mean, there's really nothing to do around here. Everything's just like that. I can't even look at- oh, I can look at people. I miss you. I miss you every day, baby. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Yorko first. Yorko, if your memories are back, do you know what the outside world is like? The world? Oh, what do you want about? I'm asking because I don't think I've been conscious for a long time. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history? I'm curious to know what's changed since then. Oh, so that's it. Well, it was terrible. Luckily, I managed to evacuate in time. But there were so many casualties. How long has it passed since it happened? Is it over? Well, I don't know exactly how long, but it's been at least a few years. Most of the riots have ended and society's returned to some level of normality. But the security system is much worse than it was before. What is it, Sora? Oh no, it's nothing. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think we can go anywhere except for talk to him, so let's talk. Hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Right, let's move right away. Wait a minute, Monocro? Just, where is the singularity? Wait, before that, do we even need to go to it? Mikado's plan and the reason why we got trapped in this killing game. If you already know, just tell us here. She's right, don't be suspicious. If you have any information for us, tell us right away. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh I thought you already knew about Mikado's plan. Huh? Nikkei said everything a few days ago, remember? Besides, the reset codes were solved, so I think you already have come to your conclusion. Yuki, it's Sumo. He's trying to meet them. Is that what you're talking about? Well, his goal is to put Itsuo's personality over Yuki's, therefore, I mean, for the resurrection of divine luck. Isn't that what you already concluded in Higa City? That's... Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, only me, Sora, and Yuki were there. So how do you know about that? <laughs> That's because I am the overseer of this world. Certainly, this virtual world is er erroneous due to external intervention. You can tell what happened from the strange environment that surrounds you, right? When that happened, our security was destroyed, and without my admin privileges, I know little information of what happened since. So just tell us what information you do know. Yari, yari. Well, well, what a temper from Miss Kabuya here. Always so impatient. 
I have judged that seeing it for yourself would be faster than my explanation. It is only a waste of time talking here. I see. I know for a fact that it is not me or Mikado causing this intervention. It would be impossible to move to such a place for us. Follow me. The coordinates of the map are all lined up, so it should be just up ahead. <sighs> I don't think he listened to a single word I said. It can't be helped. We should just do what Monica says for now. At the end of the day, it's only a matter of time before Mikado re realizes something is wrong and comes to execute us again. That's a wise judgment now. Follow me. Due to the unnatural linking of these locations, you may feel somewhat dizzy upon movement. Please keep that in mind and have a safe travel. Okay, where are we going? What is the singularity? What the heck? What the heck happened here? We have arrived. This is the first singularity. Ugh, my head is spinning. Oh, what is this? What's going on? As I said, this world is full of errors. It seems that objects are misplaced. It's not just that. When I woke up, we were on a sandy beach. And now we're somehow inside a building? Wait, is this maybe the first island? Correct, the bell tower. Oh, we're gonna go to all the spots people died? Oof. This is where the first murder took place. In the virtual world, murders are of great significance. From this error, I should be able to do various manipulations here. This way. You go first. Is this the bell tower? There's just a lot of toilets everywhere. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's a coffin. Oh, Buff Yuri. <laughs> He's so creepy. What is this machine? Wait, there's somebody inside. Oh, it's ugly Buff Yuri. Oh, help me. He seems familiar somehow. Guys, it's Buff Yuri. We've, we, know, we know Buff Yuri. We saw a video of him and we're afraid of him. Yuri, this person is Yuri Kagarin, right? A suspicious capsule type machine reminiscent of a tube. He's so ugly. Like the sleeping body of Yuri, who was an adult like we saw in that video. You're all aware that the one who died in this tower was Yuri, right? What? Why is Yuri? Now, and more importantly, what is this machine? This machine is a device that connects the real and virtual worlds. In other words, this is the connector to the virtual world program, where we currently reside. In the real world, just like Yuki, you two are in a capsule like him, asleep. So Yuri also returned to his real body. Wait a minute. Yuri fell from the top of the tower, but there's no cuts and no wounds. Wait, is Yuri alive? No, Yuri's very much dead. What's in this device is just an empty body. Because the virtual world connects directly to the brain, so a death in here is a death in the real world. There are no exceptions. Oh, so that means Turi is dead dead. I don't know how Mecker survived, but yeah, Turi is probably gone. Ugh, my heart's breaking. So everyone who died is still dead. After we saw the real nature of Nikkei, it's just as we thought he was lying. But hearing Monaco say it like that, they're all gone. So why is Yuri still here? And why is that capsule here with him? I already told you. Told us. This place is entirely virtual. Your body is exactly the same. It's just like a game avatar, so to speak. And with administrator rights, you can change the look of an avatar. So in other words, someone arbitrarily manipulated the body of the dead Yuri. Does that mean it wasn't a person who intervened? It was due to the reset codes. When a reset code is activated, your avatar returns to the state of your original body. If you don't believe me, let me show you. Ah, oh, what? I'm back to looking like... Ah, oh, the Yuriko I know. Oh, I'm back to normal. Originally, such power would be impossible, but in this state, it is possible to manipulate it. Uh, we're just talking nonsense. Let's get back to the important part about Yui Yuri's reality. To be precise, somebody called the connection device in reality. That was the reason. The connection device? Is there something like that in the capsule machine? Ugh, oh, buff Yuri. Well, as far as I'm aware, this device will show information. Oh, he's uglier in his sprite form. Oh. Ah, here we are. This is his profile. That's all we know about Yuri Kagarin. Please have a read. Name Yuri Kagarin, Japanese and Russian, raced mid 20s. Ooh, so he's my age. Ooh. From a young age, he inherited the Kagarin Corporation. He hated men very much, but was able to see the varied abilities of humans, and became an outstanding businessman and developed the Kagarin Corporation to new heights, using independently developed AI called Yuri for space explorations. He successfully contributed greatly to the space industry. 
and became one of the symbols of Next Generation Hope. Influenced by a girl from his past, he was determined to devote himself to helping a woman's welfare. Is it going to be like they all were like symbols of hope, so that's why they put them all in or something? Who knows? Looks like a lot of great achievements, but still nothing special. Still the same old Yuri. Not only is Yuri's body big, he himself was. So what does that have to do with our situation? Miss Sorat, do you not remember? Yeah, what? Well, I am aware that you have recovered your memories as Akane Tyra. Ugh. Am I wrong? You recovered Miss Akane Tyra as a child. Oh no, she knew him! What? So, Sasora? Yuri, who originally rejected men and worshipped women. The reason he became so obsessed with women was because Yuri hired Akane Tyra as a worker for him. Then does that mean... Sora, do you remember meeting him as Akane Tyra? I hope not. I'm not too sure. I can't remember for certain. Well, I don't really remember ever when I met while I was a maid. <laughs> right, well, whether Miss Sora remembers Yuri or not doesn't really matter. What's important is Yuri had knowledge of Akane Tyra. Why is that important? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Why does that matter? Because that's the reason they, he was caught for in the killing game. All of you, Utsuro, the very purpose of Mikado. He brought you all here because you were all related to his classmates during Utsuro's time at Hope's Peak Academy. Ooh, that's cool. I wonder who's related to Sasuke. I hope we'll find out. I hope it's not all just everyone knew Akane. What, including me? Inaka Tanamori. Does that name seem familiar to you? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's why that other thing was relevant because Minako's in that. Okay, we do know her. She sucks. But Minako, wait, how do you know her? Imagine Minako's her, 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 the, you know, you know in Noriko's backstory, the girl she really looks up to? If that's freaking Minako, I'm gonna scream. Minako Tamori is only daughter. Kizuna Tamori is the ultimate cheerleader of the 79th class at Hope's Peak. She was one of Utsuro's classmates. Huh, no way. What? M Minaka was a married woman? Um, is it really a surprise? Well, I mean, she was married, but like, her husband was very neglectful, so it's debatable. But, but, she really has a husband and a daughter. Why, did you two have a thing going on? No, Minaka was the madam at the bar I used to work at in high school. Okay, it wasn't her, yeah, the age gap would be too much. But that's, that's funny, Minaka would just be like, yeah, I'm gonna hire this teenager, because I don't care. <laughs> Even though I was a minor, she looked after me so I could work with her. I think she was a married woman. Oh, she did have a good side to her, though, at least. That's nice. But this isn't about her. This is about Minako's daughter who went to Hope's Peak, right? Yes, to be more precise. The Hope's Peak Academy's 79th class. Allow me to say this one more time. The reason you became a target of Mikanto was because you were more or less related to the 79th class students. In the case of Misora, Akane Tyro was part of the 79th class herself. So that is self-explanatory. Wait a minute. Madame's daughter and Sora were classmates. Minako's age at the time, and then her daughter was in high school. That means... Grandma Kabuya? What? Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't trying to calculate your age. Well, age doesn't matter, so please stop calling me that. Uh, is that a touching moment? Is that a touching moment over? Can I continue? Oh, I want to know who is related to Teru. Oh, is it just Teru himself? Probably. Yeah, probably. I'll, I'll, I hope we get to find out all these connections. All of you, except the members of Void, were related to the 79th class in some way. Oh. Now, technically, the Void sought help from the 79th class member, Utsuro. Since they're technically related, it means all of you are related to the 79th class. Come to think of it, Teru was part of the 79th class at Hope's Peak as well. As well. Then, was Tria also a classmate of Utsuro? Correct. In Mikado's plan, everyone was supposed to have a slight relation to the 79th class. But there were some people who were in the 79th class themselves. That includes Akane Taira. That's you, Sora. And that's the reason we're in this terrible situation. Because we had connection to the 79th class. So did Void Mikado collect everyone connected to the 79th class. In order for Yuki to become Utsuro, he needed to create a similar environment to the previous game. Mikado called it reproduction. Oh, interesting. So the <laughs> that's a pretty long connection to Kizuna, though, for it to be Yoriko. <laughs> a reproduction. I really like that because um, Akane stabbed Kizuna. <laughs> that's a, and then Yoriko is like her bestie. That's crazy. I had no choice. It was to create a conflict of men versus women for the exact reproduction. Killing Yuri was the only way to do that. Him dying as a fact alone would be enough. As expected, it stirred up theories of a woman being the culprit. 
I'm sorry, Mikado. I messed up the reenactments. It shouldn't be a surprise considering the flawlessness of your reenactment in this case. Quite unlike a certain incapable person. A reproduction of the case. It's the order of the killing game we've been through. So far, the Voids previously mentioned it after the trials. Miss Tyra, part of the 79th class. Miss Sora, if you really are her, you should remember. Remember how this killing game is similar to the, 70, the killing game of the 79th class. Because a, a, a jock did the first killing? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, these murders were not really very similar than how they were executed. I mean, it was a girl girl for the second one, for both. Not the first. The third one, they weren't part of it. Um, and, hmm. That's right, Teresa, that the 79th class went through a killing game as well. Imagine it's zero. You must have heard about him from Sora on the last island. Do you remember? Yuki is biologically identical to Utsuro, but mentally they are different people. Samikado wanted to replace Yuki's personality with Utsuro's. As such, he chose a virtual world, so he could connect directly to the brain. In conclusion, Utsuro was in the 79th class, and the two killing games were very similar. In the virtual world, Yuki suffered the same turning. This is Mikado's plan. The trials that Nikkei talked about is the reenacted process. I want to find out how everyone else is connected. I'm so curious now. I was expecting this to some extent, but after hearing it myself, it truly really was terrible. Who was connected to Sarugi? Now that my memory as Akane Taira has returned, I remember clearly what I did. Like maybe, maybe um, Kenji, because he's a firefighter and Sarugi's a cop, maybe they work together. I don't know. I hope it I hope, I hope it reveals it. And the terrible hell of this killing game. My memories when I opened my eyes on Utsurashima was ambiguous. It felt like a dark past. But now, I remember everything clearly. During that time, he and I did something terrible. It's a terrible time that I don't ever want to repeat again. And Mikado Sonoji did it all over again. To Yuki, who has done nothing wrong, who has dragged into this selfish purpose again. And not just Yuki, everyone was dragged into this because of the 79th class. Wait a minute, after the war and the tragedy, humans' scientific advancements were rapid and the technology improved day by day. With the technology of the Toa group, I know artificial intelligence and other things of the sort have begun to appear. But no matter how much I think about it, covering a personality with someone else's is, no matter how similar the environment and the conditions are, is it really possible? It's basically brainwashing. Yari, yari. If it's possible or not, this theory has already been proven by someone before. Okay, yeah, Kokoro's gonna be the Kurokawa connection, that's why she's here. Okay. They even managed to implement it in practice before. What? Jinka Enoshima, have you ever heard of her? Oh, have I. You don't need to tell me about Junko, I don't like her. Did Jinka Enoshima, she's the cause of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Jinka Enoshima. She corrupted Itsuru, and as a result, most of the class of Sending Nine died. She's the root of this world's chaos. Hmm. Well, she died a long time ago after popping up a few too many times. So you don't need to worry too much about her. In the past, Junko Enoshima modified a virtual world called the Neo World Program. It was used to overwrite someone's personality with her own. Oh. AKA the plan to turn everybody into herself. Of course, with the work of many others. Her plan failed and Junko Enoshima is completely dead. Oh, that, that was like the worst plan ever. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? That doesn't make any sense. Then Mikado used that plan as motivation for his own. Did he actually implement the plan? And uh, what does the symbol on the capsule device mean? This is the connection to the. This is the connection device of the New World program. It's a stolen version that was plugged with a thermal plate. He stole it. Where did Mikado get such manpower? Unfortunately, I do not know that. I'm only supposed to direct the killing game of the Mono mascot taking the place of Monokuma. Even Mikado didn't give me the full details. So we, we were forced to do the killing game that Utsuro went through because the 79th class was already dead. So we were used as alternatives or substitutes, in other words. Yes, you're here, your account, as well as everyone else were in the same situation. Huh, what's with the series face, Sora? No, that can't be it. There's gotta be something more. Your account and everyone were else were kidnapped by Mikado. What, this mole? The food's still a shop as always, Miss Sora. 
Correct. In addition to people related to the 79th class condition, there were some other criteria they had to reach. And they were... You have to be a Hope's Peak Academy student. Huh. Oh, okay, so that's why the connection's so vague. This is the essential and irreplaceable condition that Mikado learned using trial and error. In addition to this and the 79th killing game, there have been several others. There was even a killing game that took place with the Hope's Peak Academy officials. I'm not sure why, but Utsuru's personality was covered up. But the ultimate talent was absolutely necessary. Yeah. No, wait, what are you talking about? I've never been to Hope's Peak Academy. That's correct. You weren't a student or Yori at Hope's Peak Academy. Then here's the problem. When you started the Killing School trip, why did your memory go back to when you were at high school? Huh. You all should know this since your memories have returned, but you see, Hope's Peak Academy was already closed several years ago. So the ultimate students that were considered as the symbols of hope in the world could no longer be found. That's why Mikado decided to kidnap all the people who were considered the symbols of hope. Read Yuri's profile carefully again. So they had to be connected and had to be a sign of hope. Okay. Using an independently developed AI called Yuri for space explorations, he successfully contributed significantly to the space industry and became one of the symbols of the next generation of hope. The symbol of hope for the next generation. After the tragedy, a major restoration had to begin. Among them were people who had great contribution to the restoration work. These people were the next generation of hope, just the same as the ultimate students were. They were called the symbols of hope. Mikado focused on that and the talent itself, and as such, put everyone's age back to when they were in high school. In other words, your virtual world ultimate students. Interesting. Come on, wait a second. A symbol of the next generation of hope does not include me. But I don't have any achievements that could earn me that talent. Vivi, you're too humble, Miss Kavya. You certainly deserve the title. You are a counselor, correct? Really? Oh, well, I did some volunteering through the speaking skills I learned as a hostess and became a psychologist. Of course, I did gain a little recognition, but not to the extent of being called that. It's through the counseling that Yorko did that she began to stand out after the tragedy. She helped a lot of people who were physically and mentally damaged by the da disaster. And all for the small cost of nothing. Aw, Yoriko, you're so sweet. Many people suffered from PTSD, and thanks to Yoriko's hard work, they got through their trauma. And that got her the title to be the symbol of the next generation of hope. God, his voice is killing me right now. Yoriko, that's awesome. Well, that being said, shouldn't I have been the ultimate counselor instead? Why was I chosen as the ultimate hostess? That's not what I was known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, talent and memory were inex inextricably linked. If you were selected as the ultimate psychologist, your memories wouldn't sync well with you. It wasn't as you weren't a psychologist at the time. So does that mean everyone else actually had a talent as well? Correct, Yuri here was no different. He was famous in the space industry. A symbol of hope for the next generation. From some point, everyone will be going to call me that. A considerable amount of time had passed since Hope's Peak shut down. And people still were desperate for some hope. That's how humans are. Just how mankind created religion. They needed something to believe in. Humans are always hungry for hope, and they were afraid of despair. That's why this, they create symbols of hope. When you said that, something came to mind. Monica, are you human? Hmm? When the killing school trip first started, I didn't know anything, and I thought there might be someone who controls you behind the scenes. But as the story of the virtual world comes out, and from Mikata's remarks, you seem to be more than someone being controlled when you were talking about your memories returning. If Monica was created by Mikado specifically for this plan, it would be right to call you an artificial intelligence, right? But if it was swing and a miss, you're only half right this time. Of course, I am artificial intelligence, but I am not made by Mikado. What, then just who are you? My real name is Yuri. Mikado hacked me into another program. Two Yuris. Yuri. Wait, that's... <gasps> oh, duh, I just... <laughs> I'm so stupid. He just talked about the Yuris for space. This is one of Yuri's AIs. <laughs> Successfully contributed as your space AI. You stole Yuri's AI and made him monochrome? Monochrome, you're Yuri's. I can't believe I forgot that detail. I was like, two Yuri's, how weird. Yes, I guess you could call the real Yuri my father. Hey, baby, I'm your dad. Hello, Papa. Didn't, didn't I say? My purpose is to help humans. Originally, my purpose was to manage various flights. I must have been developed for that. Even though most of my data has been modified, I still have no memory of being the AI Yuri. What? Why the hell is the AI created by the Cogrin Corporation being modified to use for the killing game? That's a cool detail. I like that twist. 
Mikata was extremely focused on efficiency. For him, Mr. Cochran's AI had all the necessary conditions for the plan. I must have been the best prey. So he kidnapped Yuri and stole his artificial intelligence, that's what you're saying. So in summary, in addition, an AI created by the next generation of hope would be fitting for his plan. This isn't a very good story. Um, well, I don't know all of Mikado's actions. All the memories of me being the AI Yuri have been erased. I just went through the, th the killing game as programmed. But now that I know my identity, I can clearly remember what took place because of the program. Which is why I am helping you both. An unimaginable identity. Yuri was deeper in Mikado's plan than we all thought. But of course, Yuri is dead. He was also a victim. The scary thing is how someone executed all these large-scale crimes. But this was all done by the person called Mikado Sanoji. Even after we got our memories back, we still didn't know much about Mikado himself. Monoko, if you look at it, you're also a victim of Mikado. It must have been hard for someone that was programmed for good purposes. To be doing horrible stuff for Mikado like that. Hmm. Well, that's not exactly the case. Huh? This body is simply programmed a programmed algorithm. I am just an AI. I have no emotions. I laugh, act gloomy, get angry, etc. Not because it's how I actually feel. It's because I was programmed this way. But artificial intelligence is not human. As an AI, I have no feelings of guilt. The only person who committed a crime is Mikado. However, distinguishing the good and the bad, there is no function for that. I am helping you now because I realized my original role because that is what my algorithm says to do. Yuri, Yuri. An artificial person that acts on its own emotion and ignores algorithms. Well, that would be called an alter ego. <laughs> Reference. You do not need to sympathize with me or worry about me. You only have to use me. Because all I am is a tool to help humans. Artificial intelligence that acts according to an algorithm. Monaco's actions are not based on emotion. They're simply deduced using his systems. But even so... I'm sorry. No, it's nothing. It would be meaningless of me to talk any longer. My role is to end soon anyway. Was that really it? If his behavior was really just an algorithm, what did all of those other times mean? Now let us move to the second singularity. Time might be infinite, but not for us. You may feel dizzy between moves, so try to mentally prepare yourself before it begin. Truth bullet obtained. All right. Ugh, I want to do more, but this is like a good stopping point. I could just, I could just split it in two, you know. I'm gonna do that because I'm so invested in this. He's sleeping in the capsule without moving.